If your speakers aren't working on your laptop or on your desktop, first step you're going to want to go through is making sure that the audio jack is connected correctly. Of course, you're probably thinking that um, that's stupid advice, but one thing is for sure most uh, audio or most laptops and desktops have a mic input into a uh, headphone input, so um, you might have it plugged into the wrong jack. Again, um, after that, you're just going to want to go on to the next step. So the next step is um, to go to our control panel. If you don't know how to get there, you're just going to want to search in Windows uh, control panel, and it should pop up. Next, we're going to want to go on to speaker or hardware and sound. Once you're in hardware and sound, what we're going to see is a category called sound. And we're going to want to go ahead and click on that. And here we see speakers and headphones. What we're going to do is right click on it and click configure speakers. And go through this configuration test. After you're done with that, you're going to exit out of it. Go back and go to properties. Make sure your levels are all the way up and make sure nothing's muted. And make sure you have immediate mode on under your enhancements and under your advanced you're going to want to make sure you have the highest sound quality that you could possibly get and that's just for um, testing once you see your computer or your speakers are working again of course you can go back get through here and just change it back to your regular quality if you'd like but again this is just uh just to make sure everything's working properly and you can go ahead and click test and see if your speakers are working now after you're clicking apply but basically that's all we can do so the last thing that I'm going to say um, is actually to go under this sound category and go to um, communications and make sure you don't have mute all other sounds. So when you go to here, make sure this is right. Um, you can have reduce the volume to other sounds by 80%, which I think this is the default. So just keep it here if it's there. And that's all. So just click OK. Uh, make sure you apply those settings, click OK, and restart your computer and make sure it's working fine. If your headphones still aren't working, I'd say it's a hardware or driver problem. Um, I would go to your manufacturer's website, and once you're there, you could find a category called support. And under support, it should say drivers and downloads. Type in your computer name, and you should be able to find a list of all the drivers. Just reinstall that uh, headphone driver. and it should be working properly again we can go to hardware and sound and click device manager here at the top to get this list right here and what we'll see here is a category called sound video and game controllers so you should have your video or not your video but your audio speakers uh, driver in here make sure it's in here and if it isn't go to the top click scan for hardware changes and if it's still not in there that's exactly what your problem is you need to re-download this driver but if it is here and it's still not working, right click it, click properties, go to driver, and make sure you have it updated all the way. When you click update, just click search automatically and it will search for the software and make sure it's updated. If it isn't, it will then send it to your Windows update for you to update it. So that's basically all you can do for your headphones or your uh, speakers when they're not working. Um, if you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. And have a good day.